first crossing the stage and flipping the tassels. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Durante Matthews. Today, Bradley University hosted its first indoor in-person ceremony for graduates since 2019. WNBD's Liam Donahue shows us how education leaders and students were able to make it all happen and the tough road of making it to the finish line during a pandemic. Bradley University's December 2021 graduates making it to the finish line in person at the Renaissance Coliseum. The first indoor in-person commencement ceremony since 2019. Leaders with the university say it's able to happen because of students' ability to adapt and follow COVID-19 protocols. We've been very, very lucky because our students have followed the guidelines that we've set forth for them. And we've been able to stay on campus another semester because they've done what is right. Renee Charles, spokesperson for Bradley University, says it's been a tough road this past year, but it's a great feeling to finally be able to offer an in-person ceremony for students after having a virtual ceremony last year and an outdoor one in May. She says the goal is to do so safely. We're back together. We made it. We did it. But we still have protocols in place. I mean, we are requiring masks for everyone. Um, we've been very upfront with if you're not feeling well, Please do not come. Cassandra Torres is a first generation college student. She says it's been a journey getting to graduation. The first one in my family to graduate, so a lot of mixed emotions, a lot of excitement. Torres says going to college during a pandemic was not easy, but adds she felt like she and her peers helped to get each other to their destination. It was a lot more stressful, it was overwhelming. It but I think it showed us that we were able to persevere through like hard times and the fact that I got to do that. We still got to be on campus at some point, like last semester. We were supporting each other, and I think that's really big. Reporting in Peoria, Liam Donahue, WMBD News.